So we get set with Tim Ford out of LJ in the 43. Second in points in 2017, Oliver Gentry out of Noonan in the 03. 34 and a half of Chris McCullough from Dallas. And that junk man's Cadillac to finish second. One feature win here at Dixie this year. Tim Ford, a 16.512. Oliver Gentry quicker at 14.997. McCullough, 16 triple nickel. Tim Ford will sit on his time. Gentry will not be able to improve. And Chris McCullough will go quicker at 16, 423. So it's Oliver Gentry, the junk man's Cadillac, and a 14,997 fast qualifier at the beginning. Next three coming out will be Chris Sizemore in the 20. Dalton Poston, the track champion in the Econo Bombers in double O. Justin Shipley in 08. So the first lap for Sizemore, second quick at a 15, 796. Dalton Post then will go second quick at a 15, 266. Shipley fast time in the evening, 14, 990. Second lap for Sizemore, quicker at 15, 633. Poston will not improve. And Shipley will go quicker at 14, 976. So Justin Shipley at a 14,976. Oliver Gentry at a 14,997. Next three qualifiers should be the nine of Rob Johnson, Gaithan Burns in 19. Donnie Thurman in 57. First lap time on Johnson, a 16, 507. Gaithan Burns fourth quick at a 15, 425. Thurman will go fourth quick at a 15-3-3-0. Second lap. Johnson moves the fifth fast at 15-4-2-4. Burns will not improve. He'll stay sixth quick. And Donnie Thurman will stay fourth quick. It's still Shipley, Gentry, and Polston, the top three. Next qualifier, the D8 of Dakota Weeks. Super Mario Gresham in the 21. B.J. Fisher in 26. Dakota Weeks coming in. At a 16.014, Mario Gresham at a 15.630. And the 26 of Fisher at 16.243. Second lap for the D8 at a 15.993. Mario Gresham will move to fourth quick at 15.292. And a 15.857. As Thurman completes his qualifying, Fisher's complete. Up next, the 16 of Wesley English. Donnie Watley in the 51. Andy Morris at 40. Sixteen oh six two, and the fifty one of Watley at a sixteen four seventy one, fifteen five six two for Morris. So far, nobody cracking the top five.
So Donnie Thurman, fifth quick, Mario Gresham, fourth. Dalton Posta was third, Oliver Gentry second, fast qualifier at 14, 976. It's the 08 of Douglasville's Justin Shipley. And we go to the 20 lap steelhead late model main event. The Junkman's Cadillac finished second in the points. Oliver Gentry in the 03, coming to green. Here we go. So the chase is on, and to the outside goes the 08 of Justin Shipley, the fast qualifier. Dalton Poston riding in that third spot. Mario Gresham sitting fourth. So the field now works their way down the back stretch and into turn number three. Leader is Justin Shipley. Shipley will bring it out of turn number four, showing the way. Yeah, no. Shipley, four in the book, 16 to go. And back in the early days. <laughs> Leader continuing to set a torrid pace as he has pulled away from Oliver Gentry. Dalton Poston sitting in third. Mario Gresham fourth. Rounding out the top five, the 57 of Donnie Thurman. Shipley's going to catch the slower cars in the field here shortly. Then he's going to have to go to work. Leader across the line, seven in the books, and now he'll have to start working on drivers like Chris McCullough in the 34 and a half. Right ahead of him, the 51 of Donnie Watley. So now the carving of the slower cars will begin. And the 34 will just get out of the way. McCullough pulls up high. Now Watley's under attack from your leader. And Shipley will dive underneath Watley, who gets a little sideways in four. Gentry has a rear view mirror full of Poston. Dalton Poston, the champion of the Econo Bombers, has this steelhead late model running pretty well tonight in a podium spot. Halfway, 10 in the books, 10 to go. Shipley has got himself a rocket ship tonight. And he'll set his sights now on Tim Ford to put him a lap down. He'll look to the inside in turn number four, move over flag for Ford. Ford will heat it going into turn number one. And Dalton Poston has caught Oliver Gentry for second. Poston running about a half a groove lower than the runner up. Gentry now will have to play defense because his offense is not working. Here comes Poston. He'll look to the rear of the 03 and we've got caution. Caution on the speedway. The D8 machine of Dakota Weeks. And we're about to let him sling it and bring it out of turn number four. We'll go back to green and we're underway. So again, Justin Shipley will bring Oliver Gentry, Dalton Poston out of turn number four, Mario Gresham, and the five machine, who's now under attack. Here comes Andy Morris. Andy Morris will dive underneath the 57 of Donnie Thurman. Morris can't quite get it done. He'll get back in line. 13 in the book, seven to go, and it's all Shipley all the time. Justin Shipley, fast qualifier, backs it up with a very solid run here in the Steelhead 525 late model main event. Dalton Poston still with aspirations of taking second. But the 03 of Oliver Gentry will thwart his advances. 
All of a sudden, the nine car coming to life. Rob Johnson will work on Morris now for six. So Johnson with a better line. Morris way out of the groove. Johnson will go into the sixth spot. Out of four, four laps to go for Shipley, and he has got every switch in the cockpit turned on. Nothing for Oliver Jett. Oh, and Shipley's off the pace, your leader. Your leader breaks coming out of turn two. And now we've got a battle for the lead with three laps to go. It's a new race. Oliver Gentry's got to hold off Dalton Poston. Two to go signal. White flag the next time by. Down the back stretch and into turn number three. The white flag about to wave. Dalton Poston trying to get the victory. Oliver Gentry trying to hold him off. One lap to go for the Junkman's Cadillac. Poston will gain a couple of feet, but will it be enough going into three? Gentry will set the car up at four. Look out in turn number four. Car stalled. We're going to finish it. Gentry wins. Poston second. Gresham third. Fourth is Thurman. And fifth will go to the nine of Rob Jones.